All right, let's check real quick what we'll have to draw here. Okay. <laughs> Oh yes, it's time for another experimental artwork where I will try and draw a special kind of effect on a piece of paper. So after having done two types of glitch effects, a neon effect, a tie-dye effect, a 3D effect, it's time for another one and this time we're gonna try and draw an x-ray effect. So in this video I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of me figuring out this effect. So I hope you will like this video and if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up, that's always much appreciated. So let's jump right into the project. Enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you're new to this channel. So the first thing I had to do, of course, was trying out different things, figuring out how I will go about this drawing. And I think I figured it out. And it's actually not that difficult. And the good news is I will only need these three simple art supplies. A white Posca marker, a white colored pencil and a brush. And that's literally everything I will need. So what I have to do now is to create a sketch. And for this project I'm simply going to use an existing x-ray image. And I'm going to try and recreate that. So let's go. Sketch done. So the first step in making this x-ray drawing will involve a white colored pencil. So the objective for this first step is very basic. I'm simply coloring in all the bones in a solid white color. Well, it literally couldn't be more easy than this, right? But that's gonna change because it's gonna be slightly more difficult right now. I'm very excited, so let's continue. So besides a little bit of water, we also need the brush and the Posca marker. First, I use the Posca marker to contour the bone. After that, I need a smooth transition from the Posca paint to the pencil. And I simply do that by gently touching the Posca paint with a wet brush. here in making this successful is that the Posca paint should still be wet when you use the brush to go over the paint. Oh yes, this is definitely working out the way I want it. I am really liking this so far. I'm seriously extremely happy with this, but of course we're not done yet. We have to do like the flesh around the bones and for that we're gonna use our pencil again. And for this we're again simply coloring in the sections with a solid white color. Yeah, I am actually very happy with the end result and to be honest, I see a lot of possibilities with this. Right now I've just recreated an existing x-ray image, but imagine creating some sort of bone structure for your own creature, that would look so cool. So I will definitely try and do more with this effect in the future, but for now this was it. And if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really enjoy seeing all your support, so thank you for that and also thank you for watching and then we see each other in a new video in a couple of days. Take care.